Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon 3D Years. In the last episode we got our asses handed to us once again. In this episode we're going to avenge the Fallen with Ditto, Fred and Rami. Um, and we're going to be leading with Fred because it's the only thing that I own that can be fully evolved at this point. And I think it's going to be a bit of an advantage. Everyone's level 18, which may be a little bit on the high side, but we're probably going to need it. Let's go for the moves real quickly. Uh, Fred has Fury Attack, Twingle and Bug Bite. Technically speaking, only a semi-possible move set because Weedle get, uh, gets Bug Bite at level 15, whereas Fury Attack on Beedrill, I think, is level 13. So technically it has to be either or. I just put both on because we're going to need it. Um, then we have Ditto with Mudslap, Pound, Poison Gas and Minimize. And Rami with Quick Attack, Bite, Pursuit and Hyper Fang. Obviously Rami is not going to be sent out against the uh, the Primeape. But it might be useful against Tropius or whatever else uh, is coming up. We also have an opportunity which... Is what I wanted to do last episode to begin with. We have an opportunity to capture some... I was hoping that I might be able to sneak into the grass and just capture a Pokemon before anything else. <coughs> okay, don't inhale your own saliva, maybe. Um, we have an opportunity... I'm sorry for the noise here. Uh, we have an opportunity to repeat myself without finishing the sentence. And also to catch... At least two Pokemon today, I think. Let's see what Twin Needle does. It poisons. That was kind of what I was hoping for. It's not very effective, but it poisons, and that is all I need. Uh, and now I can go back to Fury Attack, which will probably take it out, especially combined with the poison. It'll probably, depending on how many times, I only hit two times, because of course I did. And of course you hit five times with your Fury Swipe, because that's fair. You can potion all you want. Uh, that's only going to give me more opportunities. Does Fury attack... It can hit up to five times, right? I'm not actually going crazy. Two to five times, yeah. So... That's just really, really bad luck. Um, I think I should outspeed, though. So... You use another potion. At some point, I'm going to hit five times. Okay, I missed. So now I definitely do need to use a potion myself. Probably should have gotten... I don't think I can get super potions actually yet. The only reason that I would need super potions at this point in the game is because you're overleveled. And, well, I am. I also just noticed that Fred is a female Pokemon. That... Because why not? I miss again. You didn't drop my accuracy, did you? I don't think you did. Two times again! At least the poison is going to take out the, the the prime map here. That's only his first Pokemon. Now we move on to Tropi Slugma. Exactly as I said. Let's go into Ditto uh, for Slugma. Slugma. Did I say Slugma? Wow. <laughs> That's a slip of the tongue. Um, Ditto is a Grimer, by the way, if you're audio only um, on this. And we can use Mud Slap. You probably were really confused when I said Ditto had like Mud Slap, Pound, Minimize, and Poison Gas. But, uh, but yeah, no. Ditto is uh, the name of the Grimer because Grimer looks like Ditto and I'm not very creative. And that didn't do a lot of damage for being super effective. I'm going to be honest with you. And now I'm asleep. I'm snoozing. Let's see. If we can get through you... Ah, uh, you're not doing a lot of damage. Uh, Ditto is... Not Ditto, Grimer. Is uh, fairly bulky, and that is a Slugma I dealt with. That wasn't too... You have a Terrakion! Because of course you do! Um... Is it a Rock or a Ground type? If it's a Ground type? Actually, in both cases, I probably don't want to go into Fred. Hmm. It is a fighting type. I might want to stay in with Ditto. Because I think the best course of action I have here is to poison it. Lower my defense all you like. If Ditto ends up dying here, as long as it poisons you, I'm kind of fine with that. Ah, 
Let's minimize. If you lower my defense, but you can't hit me, it doesn't matter that my defense is lowered. Is the thing. So, and you're going to slowly die as well. So yeah, I'm already avoiding attacks. Uh, if rose sharply, so I only need to use it three times to get a plus six. I think Smackdown. That's probably the end of Grimer. It's not. It is not. Okay. Uh, you do outspeed me, however. So if you hit another one of those, which unlikely, but you could. That's the end of the Ditto. Quick attack. Avoided the attack. Mod slap. Super effective. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Accuracy. Oh my god. I have plus six evasiveness and you're at minus one accuracy. This is amazing. There's no way in hell you're hitting. Okay, you're hitting me. Probably should have seen that coming. But I think I also have quick attack on, on Rami, right? I do. Which means this should... Mm, why is that resisted? Because you're a rock type. Of course, that... That makes sense. Mud Slap was super effective. For some reason, I thought Mud Slap was super effective. Yeah, another potion. You don't. That's going to be a real good experience for Rami. For some reason, I thought Mud Slap was super effective. You must be a ground type, not a rock type. That is exactly not how that works. That's the opposite of how that works. Uh, let's see what Hyper Fang does. Mm, it flinches. Let's keep this up. Flinch again, please. You would have an Aura Mary. Razor Leaf, uh, probably can live one of those, uh, but just one. Just one. I have to. It, it's the best damage dealing thing I have. I'm very sorry, Rami. You were very close to evolving as well, which is very annoying. Ditto also, I forgot about Ditto being dead. So it's all down to Fred now, which does resist Razor Leaf, to be fair, and has Fury Attack, so probably this shouldn't be an issue. You hit three times! Thank you! Thank you for finally hitting more than the minimum amount of, blah, minimum amount of times. And I learned Rage, which is not very useful because I don't want to be getting hit, so... Oh, we also have some team... Plasma. I was going to say Galactic. I always make that mistake. Um, we have some Team Plasma things to take care of as well. But before we do that, we are going to throw some foremost. I'm not going to be recording a second episode after this right away. Uh, I want you guys to be aware of this. That was my plan to do. And I'm not going to do that because of two reasons. Reason number one is I, I will probably do it over the course of this day, but not right away. Reason number one is it's kind of hot outside today. Uh, when it's hot outside, it gets hot inside because that's how thermodynamics works. <laughs> so I'd, I'd rather not uh, record for too long of a period of time without being able to like just open a window because I always close my windows for uh, both uh, sound and lighting purposes. And I also do need to grind. Obviously. So what are we gonna bring with us now? I don't know. Let's bring Spinarak. And bring... Zigzagoon? Maybe? I'm trying to use the, like, low-tier Pokemon now because they're not going to be useful later in the game. And if anywhere, they're going to be useful here. That being said, because this is randomized... Oh yeah, it's August now, so it's winter. Because that's how Pokemon works. Uh, how many Pokeballs do I have? Enough. Did I heal? I did not. Let's go and heal. So... Am I going to go ahead and fight the Team Galactic Grunts today? I don't know. I only have Fred. And if I go into a fight with Fred and lose, I lose everything else on my team as well. That being said, I do have the opportunity to capture one Pokemon here right now. So if that ends up being a very good Pokemon at a decent level, we might go into that fight. I don't really have much else to do today. We're only 10 minutes into this video, so I honestly don't know. Let's see what our encounter is going to be for this route, though. I think it's route 
three, maybe, or two, two or three, one or the other. Our encounter is going to be a Sork. That's not bad. It's level 10. That's could be worse, I suppose. Um, let's see what a bug bite does. It probably won't kill, right? Probably. Okay, you can just about take another one of those, but I'm not going to risk that. I'm going to rage. Should do a lot less damage. You focus energy. Are oh, you going to go for a... Do you have Focus Punch? Hold on a moment. You're level 10. I need to Great Ball you. Because the ball is blue, you're blue, that means you're going to stay. Please. I don't want you to attack my... I thought you were charging up a Focus Punch, which was really confusing because you're level 10. <laughs> Apparently you weren't. Okay, so if you want to be a special boy, here, have a premier ball. We still have a critical capture chance. We're getting in the danger zone here, I am aware. I don't know where I got that super potion, but I probably literally picked that up a second ago in the grass. Never mind. You have to stay. You have to stay. If you attack me at, like... My current defense stat, I am done for. And I can't switch out into anything else. But I need you on my team. So please, if you don't stay in the Great Balls, you're probably not going to stay in the Pokeballs. My best chance is getting a Critical Capture at this point. But it's risky. It's a matter of time until you attack. Do you have no damaging moves? That would be fantastic if you didn't. You have Bide, but if I don't attack you... Wait a second, you have Leah, Focus Energy, Bide? At best you have one more move. You might not have any damaging moves! We're about to find out, because we got this Sork. I gotta Google real quickly for one thing, because I need to make sure that I am not making a idiot of myself um yeah uh okay that is it i think it's this one right yeah it is i was uh, looking up i thought i wanted to name an elmo but i was like isn't elmo like the red one yes it is so that was almost a mistake uh instead we're gonna go with groover i don't know how you say the name in english uh it's from sesame street at any rate um So, that is going to be our Sork. Do you have a damaging move? You have Rock Smash? You have Rock Smash? Is Rock Smash a level up move for you? What? Okay. Um, that is a thing. Let's go back and heal up. And I think we might be able to get an encounter in the cave before facing the Team Galactic Grunts. Which, all that together should give us enough time to fill up the episode so that I can do grinding, <coughs> poke hacks between episodes so that we can actually take on the Team Galactic Grunts. Coming up. Next episode. We need more Great Balls. That was way too scary. We need like... 10 Great Balls should probably be enough. And then... The rest of my money just goes into potions. Even a couple of potions, it's... it's it's worth it. I am so broke right now. But I need the Pokeballs, or the Great Balls in this case, to capture more Pokemon. And I need the potions to, well, not die, mostly. I am taking a risk going into this cave. Because if I go into this cave and I get automatically triggered into the battle, I might be fucked. And I might just lose everything I have at the moment. But I need to have as many Pokemon on the team as humanly possible. So, let's take the risk. Oh, you would have healed me up as well. Okay, I can encounter something in here. No, I thought that was going to trigger a cutscene. Okay, our encounter is a... A Cup Chew. Huh. 
I don't know when you evolve into Bear Tech, but I, I like having you on the team. I like having Bear Tech. I don't particularly care about Kupchu. Um, How much damage is this going to do? Because you are pretty fragile, I'm imagining. Uh, you are pretty fragile, indeed. But that Growl actually is helping me out, funnily enough. So let's use Rage again. Fuck! You... Fuck! You fucking tease. There's Route 3. I don't think going to the south here is really going to allow me to do that in the first place. Um, you know what? I'm pissed. Let's just do this. We, we can probably do this. It's only one fight. It's only against a Galactic Grunt. These haven't been made more difficult other than the fact that they are randomized. So, we can probably do this. We have to remember that we've just gone through it. It's only one Pokemon anyway, and it's a Chinchou, which we actually don't have anything against. But we are way higher level, so let's see what uh, Twin Needle does for us here. I was being dramatic for no reason. Apparently. Because that was the easiest fight in the universe. Oh, there's more fights than just a one. Fair enough. Let's do this again. At some point, it's going to be... Okay, this is actually a double battle, which could be scary. Trubbish and Diglett. Not a very good type matchup for me, I'm going to be honest with you. But that Primeape... Then take care of business, I know that much. Let's go for Fury Attack on the Trubbish. Please hit five. Why do you keep hitting two times? RNG just hates me. RNG just hates me so much. <laughs> um, I guess we just do Fury Attack again, and this time at least hit three times. Thank you. I am the opposite of Joey Wheeler. I am very unlucky when it comes to like RNG and, and dice rolls and stuff like that. For anybody who's never watched Yu-Gi-Oh, that doesn't make any sense what it just said. So I'm sorry about that, but we at least took care of the Team Plasma. I keep wanting to say Galactic, the Team Plasma grunts. And I think that means we also get an opportunity to catch yet another Pokemon, because I think this leads to Route 4. Right? You give me something, you give me Heal Balls! They're, they're Pokeballs, they're bad Pokeballs, but they're Pokeballs. This is technically the same route. If I had waited... I mean, I should, I should not have waited. Let's be very clear about that. Getting a Pokemon at that point was more important than getting uh, the double encounter. Had I waited though, I could have gotten a double encounter in here, which meant that I had a choice as to... Or not. I, I could have just ran into a Staravia, which... Surely I had a... A Starly in the last generation. But at least I would have had a chance to uh, get two encounters at the same time. And as such, be able to choose which Pokemon I wanted to capture. And generally just get two attempts at capturing something as well if one of them accidentally died. So, technically speaking, might not have been the best... I'm not a flying type, don't worry. Um, might not have been the best option for me to go with a Sork, but honestly, I probably am more happy with the Sork than I would have been with a Saravia. So, I think that kind of worked out for me in the end. I'm hoping to run into... I, I'm avoiding trainers because if there's one trainer that just has something I can't deal with with a Beedrill, I'm screwed because I need to do grinding. So should I end up this episode? Probably, but we're only 20 minutes in and we're in the middle of a route now, so I'm at least going to make it throw this route to the next town. Uh, let's pick up this item as well. It's an awakening! I, I don't know how to make a joke about that. Oh, we're going to uh, the city. The, um, was it called? Nimbasa? There's not Nimbasa, Nimbasa's the next. We're not going there yet. That's the third gym, not the second one. 
Uh, but we're, we can get two Pokemon in a Pinwheel Forest because one outside and one inside because they have totally different catch lists. So, and it's also a good grinding spot. So I might actually do some manual grinding for EV purposes there as well. Because it's the, there's the healer. And if there's any Pokemon around there that give good experience, usually you can find Ordino uh, there. Sadly, Ordino has also been randomized, I think. Maybe Shaken Grass is still Ordino. That would be amazing because Ordino gives like 5 million experience apiece. Oh, wait a second. No. Um, correction. I actually cannot catch any Pokemon inside Pinwheel Forest yet, I don't think. Because I need to finish the gym for that first. At least we can get a Pokemon around here, the out of the Pinwheel Forest, which is going to be a... Sorry, buddy, I already have one of you. So yeah, I didn't even need the Sheet of Knowledge for that one. Which actually, the name of the document is now the Sheet of Knowledge. For that one, I will need the Sheet of Knowledge. Um, because I'm not entirely sure if I had an Apon before. I think I might not have. Uh, let, me, let me go check the Sheet of Knowledge. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's way back. I probably should just save it to my drive. Um, sheet of Knowledge. It's not called a Sheet of Knowledge yet. Dominic said he would rename it. You know what? I'm going to rename it myself. Sheet of Knowledge. I always misspell knowledge for some reason. It's, it's a weird word, okay? Okay, did I have a... A pom. Pom. A pom? No, a pom. We haven't had an a pom, so we can get this amp pom. If we don't kill it, that is. Which, oh my luck, I probably will. Rage doesn't do that much at all. You have baton pass. Luckily, that doesn't let you run away from wild battles, because that would have been... Quite horrible. You could be useful if you have Baton Pass. Baton Pass or Baton Pass? I think it's Baton. Don't get a critical hit. Okay. I'm gonna use... Ra I'm very scared to... to attack, but it looks like I'm not gonna hit any... Okay. I don't think I can... I don't think I can hit... anymore without killing it. So let's throw a Great Ball. And for the love of God, please... You didn't even wiggle once. Okay, this is gonna be a... Uh, this is gonna be a tricky one. It's gonna be a good addition to the team. But it's gonna be a tricky one. Please, for the love of God, stay, because you can actually damage me, and I prefer you not to. Thank you. We got Amber Pom! I actually like Amber Pom. I also like Apom. Probably anime-related, not gonna lie to you. What are we gonna name you, though? We're going to name you... I'm not very... Ugh. Hiccups. Uh, I'm not very creative today, so I'm just going to call you Handyman, because you've got hands on your butt. Handyman, there we go. Uh, am I in any shape to fight... Oh, hey, Moldavoy, you have an item for me. An antidote! That is amazing. I don't think I'm in much of a shape to fight the healer, but... Uh, actually, I think this is a good point to end of the episode. I'm going to do a little bit of grinding. Whether that be Pokéhack grinding or actual grinding. I'm leaning a little bit towards actual grinding. Just for, like, EV boosts. Because we're about to go into the second gym. So that might not be a bad idea. And I think Ampipon might be able to give me a decent amount of experience. So it shouldn't take that long, all things considered. We'll see what we end up doing. Uh, next episode, second gym and pinwheel forest. Maybe in the same episode? Last time I did Pokemon Black, I think I had to split it halfway through pinwheel forest. Because... 
doing both the gym and especially now that the gym is going to be more difficult as well probably only the gym next episode and the episode after that we'll do pinwheel forest which is our next encounter as well provided that nothing dies in the gym i mean the encounter is still going to be there regardless of me me dying but uh if i lose the gym it won't be the episode after the next episode because i'll have to redo the gym is, is the thing Okay, see you guys next time. Bye.